on the previous video. She's gonna see the thing, guys. She's gonna see the thing. Time for me after it had been stopped for so long. We'll make the time that you feel has somehow stopped for you begin to move again. There it is. Let's start over right here. From zero. Say it. Go from over. square one. Mm -hmm. No. No. From zero. We'll start from zero. I love it. So but that's why it's called so zero. <laughs> It's Fumbles. It was always Fumbles. Boom. How's it going, comrades? This is Wes, aka The Fumbles here with another reaction. Before we start, guys, I guess let me know how I look, I guess, because um, I just got me a new monitor, and apparently, you know, um, upon using OBS, the software I used to record, it gave me a much bigger canvas so like i think everything looks probably real close now so but if i'm if i'm too close let me know and i can like go into the software and like zoom out a bit i guess just let me know um or if you don't care if it's like you're good then you don't have to comment and then i'll just take that as a it's all good all right um also again i just want to apologize for the last episode guys um Really sorry about that, but yeah, I did post the um like I actually just finished posting it um um the commentary for episode eighteen, which was so beautiful, guys. You know, I, and, I, and I'm glad you guys um talked me into actually uh watching it again because I enjoyed it. I loved watching it again. You know, it it, it, it was good. Like it's one it was one of those episodes where you want to watch it again. You know what I mean? I don't, there are probably some people who don't feel that way, who probably didn't really care much for it, because like, it was a lot of dialogue, but I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it tremendously. So let's, and that actually leads us into what happened last episode. So yeah, pretty much, um, it was pretty much just like a heart to heart between Rem and Subaru, you know, I'm just, Subaru really, he just hates himself. Like, you know, he's, he, he's basically, he's basically had up to here. <laughs> he's just he's just done you know he's just like you know you know what game over bro i'm done if this is the game i'm not even gonna try to save i'm just i'm just wiping <laughs> i just i'm logging out i'm done <laughs> which i think is just like i thought it was kind of funny it's it, it just he, he was just done <clears throat> you know and it's just he doesn't because there's really nothing else he could do at least that's the way he felt you know i think it was just his straw was you know was Amelia dying when he told her about the turn by dad and then Puck kills him. It's like, you know, he's like, you are completely useless, you know? And it's just, Subaru took that to heart and he was just done. He was just gonna, he was just like, you know, let's just run away, Rem. Let's just run away together. But then Rem was like, you can't do that. There's nothing I would like more than to do that, but it would be the ultimate betrayal of you. Because I know the ver this version of you that's standing here telling me this isn't the version that I fell in love with. And then that's when Subaru pretty much just goes on and on about how how much he hates himself and just how this world and everything would be better without without him. And then Realm came up and there was like, actually, you're wrong. You know, you just gave me a list of why you hate yourself. So I'm going to give you a longer list on why you are loved and it was so great man i, I love her so much <laughs> she's so great but then of course you know subaru being subaru you she pretty much just like crashed and burned her and was like you know yeah by the way i, I, I love amelia i was like oh no it can't be helped though i mean like i said like um i said last episode or rather last video um he, he's gotta he's gotta follow his heart you know what I mean? Like, I, I know because I, I started watching some reactions to um episode 18. And, yeah, you, you guys are right. He, super, like, a lot of people started hate on Subaru after this um episode. And, honestly, I, I get it. Because just in case there's some people out there who are watching my video who are like, you know, yeah, if, you, if you're not into Subaru at this moment, I get it. However, I, I, I'm not mad at him. Just because, even though, I'm, I mean, I'm sad for Rem. But, I mean, guys, since day one, he's had it for Amelia. Honestly, to be honest, 
if he actually would have reciprocated Rem's feelings, that would have made me upset with Subaru, to be honest. <laughs> if he would have been like, you know, Rem, I love you too. You know, I'm in love with you too. And he was like, forget Amelia. I would, I feel like that would have been like, honestly, I wouldn't have liked that. I, I, Honestly, I felt I feel like that would have been actually better writing, to be honest, on the um on the writer's part, because it's just the Subaru's character to me. One of the core aspects of his character has been Amelia. I don't see why that would change. You know what I mean? Even if you were to gain some kind of like animosity or disdain towards her for whatever, but like, even I couldn't see him doing that. I still feel like he would never stop loving him. It's just something, like, since day one, you know? Now, I guess, you know, you could argue, what if Rem was the first person he met uh, back then, you know, when he met Amelia? Maybe it could have been differently? I don't know. Maybe. But I still feel like Amelia is just the person for him. She's she's the one, you know? But, um, yeah, it looks like um, Subaru, um, Rem basically talked him into, like, you know, don't give up. Subaru, he's ready. Um, I crap, I didn't even say what episode this is. This is episode nineteen, by the way, guys. And um, I think it's titled "Battle Against the White Whale." So I'm definitely excited to get into it, guys. Subaru, he's like saying he's gonna be a hero and all this stuff. I think this is it, guys. We've waited so long for the Subaru. Subaru has been both a dick, an asshole. And there I say a coward. <laughs> he, he's been all those things, guys. I'm, I'm sorry. Um, he's been petty. He's been, a, but I think this is the episode where we turn it all around. We are ready, Subaru. I am ready for Subaru to be the hero and warrior we all know him to be. He is actually he is named after one of the greatest vehicles known to man. <laughs> Let's go. Hashtag Subaru Redemption Arc starts now. Let's go. Disclaimer, this is not a substitute for the actual show, but rather a reaction. So please support the original creators by watching the show first, then coming back for my reaction. Thank you. Now, let's get to it. I'm proposing an alliance between the Amelia and Cruce camps on equal terms. And the information I'll offer for that purpose is this. The next time and place you'll find the White Whale. That's the one card I can play here. Oh. Okay. The White Whale? Oh. <sighs> Please forgive my indiscretion. I suppose I still have much to learn. There's something I'd like to ask you about concerning this matter. What made you feel this would be enticing to me? Since we've never discussed it, this seems oddly focused to present. That's very For true. For the past few days, I've noticed a few things that bothered me. First, the traffic to and from your mansion. It's been just a little excessive, if you ask me. Oh. Also, I heard in the capital that you've been buying up a lot of weapons and armor lately. Okay, Plus, if Miss Cruchet's goal were to be attained, See? then Mr. Wilhelm, I'm confident such an outcome would suit your So desires. wait a minute. So is that what she's Based planning for? Based on those for? observations, it seemed like you were planning something big. Of course, I can't exactly prove that, can I? Who's to say? Maybe I only made the connection because I happen to know the White Whale will be appearing soon. And what is this contraption? Okay. The moment before that went down, I happened to notice. That device is what you'd call a meteor. It tells me exactly when and where that monster will appear. <laughs> I find all this a bit hard to believe. But I yet? see that you aren't lying. I appreciate you believing me, but... I'm surprised you did so easily. Telling lies will get you nowhere with Miss Cruchet. She has the divine protection of wind reading. Uh, say what? Whenever what? anyone attempts to tell a lie, there's a telling wind that blows around them. I'm able to see that wind. There's no evidence of it now. So then, does that mean you'll agree to an alliance in exchange okay. for all the information That's I have good on to the know. White Whale? Not so fast. <laughs> That's not what I said. 
Whether or not I agree to the alliance you just proposed and whether or not I believe you are entirely separate matters. This okay. important decision will determine not only the outcome of the royal selection itself, but the entire future of the kingdom. Hey, would you mind if I listen in on this little chat too? I only heard the gist of what you were talking about, but if you're really planning on putting down the white whale, I'm all about it. Oh? For us business folk, whether that thing is around or not is pretty much a life or death matter. So our mercenary team will help with whatever you need. If what I've said doesn't have any appeal for you, then forget I mentioned anything about it. On the other hand, if your goal and my wish align the way I think they do, then let's defeat the white whale. Oh, let's go on a hunt together. Yeah. Hmm. I still have several questions concerning this arrangement, but it was brilliant of you to uncover my plans. So then... Mm -hmm. I have questions, you did as your well research. as doubts. Some things you've said are unclear to me, so I'm having difficulty agreeing immediately. However, I will choose to trust your eyes and the spirit that led you to create this situation. Alright then. This is... I would say that the deal is made then. This is good. This is good. This is great. <sighs> There may have been a few touch-and-go moments, but I'm glad it worked out, Mr. Natsuki. I must thank you. Huh? You have my deepest respect and most humble gratitude, equal to that which I offer to my lady, Duchess Cruchet Karsten. Oh, oh. well, that's, okay. uh... As perceptive as you are, I'm sure you're aware. But if I may introduce myself, my family name is Estrella. I right. took the previous Master Swordsman, Teresia Van Estrella, as my wife, which in turn gave me the honor of the lowest seat in the bloodline. That is who I, Wilhelm Van Estrella, proudly am. Thank you for so very kindly granting this old man the opportunity so, to slay the loathsome wait. mobbies that took my wife. Oh, I see. Uh, Damn. Sure, of course. I knew that. No big deal. I figured Miss Cruchet would weigh that into account and accept my offer with that in Subaru mind. Subaru Natsuki. You're lying. The wind of untruth <laughs> is blowing from you. Damn it. <laughs> the White Whale's next appearance will be tomorrow night <laughs> in the area that's right around Flugel's tree. Given all the traveling it takes to get there, we'll just barely make it. Besides, can't you see it in me all of their faces? <laughs> Yet a single one of them is preparing unwillingly. Hmm. Everyone in the entire <coughs> kingdom wants to be rid of the white whale, especially old man Will over there. Damn, and so this this white whale must. Have... Said, Wait a minute. Took... Sorry to pause it, guys. I just realized something. So, the white whale. He said so. Apparently, the white whale killed his wife. But I thought anyone the white whale kills, they forget. Isn't that true? I guess tell me on the comments, guys, because I'm, confu I'm confused by that. I was under the impression that anyone that the White Will killed, for, unless maybe kill and devour are two separate things, because I think maybe if the White Will eats you, maybe it eats you existence, memories, and all. But maybe if it just kills you, maybe then... I don't know. I guess let me know in the comments. Because like, I could have sworn that, you know, anyone... Who's killed by the white whale or eaten by the white whale is forgotten. <clears throat> His wife. Hmm. Since before you were born, he's been chasing after that awful thing. His oh. wife was a master swordsman. Even knowing what her duties entailed, her death was no less oh, tragic. Oh, so she, she was the master swordsman. Well, now you know the story. Wow. You should stop worrying about things and try to get some sleep. And besides, there's nothing you can do to help with supply distribution or organization. Man, of this one thing anyway. do it like that may be true, but you didn't have to say it and rub it in my face. <laughs> what about the whole thing with the um the witch cult is attacking um the Roswald Manor? We need to get. Well, I guess that's that's gonna lead to. So I mean, that's gonna I'm be in what three more days. One I want? <clears throat> Are you the same one from before? Uh oh, I think that is the same one. Oh, it likes you. There you go. <laughs> well, it looks like this is the one for me. Wow, I'm surprised. This type of ground dragon is known for being really proud and difficult. Yet it took to him right away. Huh. Felix, I'll take this one. It's love at first sight. That's fine by me. But don't say love at first sight. You're making little Ram pouty wouudy. I'm not pouty. Whatever you said, I'll be nice to it. I promise. <laughs> I can do it. <laughs> <laughs> really? <laughs> Dragons like. Stay away from my man. 
Is this the boy? Yes, the very same. Well? You have my gratitude. Huh? Because of you, our greatest wish may come true. And we Damn, so... Happier. Okay, I guess we all I hate this white whale. Because everybody's like, yeah, let's kill this thing. <laughs> Everyone's happy that we're getting this done. It they're all people who have a history with the white whale. Yeah. Those soldiers, are they all just like Wilhelm then? Indeed. Many of them are men who have since retired from fighting on the front lines. They've donned their armor and joined our subjugation force at Wilhelm's invitation. Their experience is comparable to those of the capital's active knights. Interesting. That's the cool. Come, Miss but see, I, right. that's the thing I'm still confused about. Is that like how... If the White Whale has killed people that they know about, how do they still remember them? When like, they years. killed them and no one Since remembered the them. Whale created by <laughs> hey, that's a nice ground dragon you got there. Yeah! Thanks for saying so. But honestly, I only borrowed this one because it kind of seemed to like me. Come to think of it, the ones you guys are riding look pretty different. They're called Rigers. I guess you don't see them too often around here, though. Riger. They aren't as strong as those ground dragons, but they're much more lively. If it comes to a brawl against the whale, that's where they really shine, so watch closely. <laughs> okay. Well, if that's the case, shouldn't you have had ground dragons pull the cargo then? <laughs> I hear what you're saying, but we gotta manage our luggage on our own. If you think the white whales are only enemy, you'll get the rug pulled out from under you. Mm. After all, there's mm -hmm. no guarantee we won't run into thieves on the road. If anybody's got the guts to take on a fully armed group like this, they wouldn't settle for being thieves. You got a point there! <laughs> Dude, it would be cool if he could bring this whole army with him to save... to save, uh... Amelia it looks like Mr. Ricardo is doing his best to try and ease everybody's nerves a little bit. I want to be heroic. Of course, wanting something and making it happen are two different things entirely. Yes, it is. But Subaru, I have faith in you, my guy. This is your redemption arc. So, that meteor will tell you when the white whale is coming? Yeah. Really? They said it to make noise when it's time. And to be honest, without oh. this... That's a lie. Uh, what, hold on, what are you saying? If it's a lie, then how am I going to help catch that white whale it in the first place? It sounds as if you're place? speaking like someone own, from you know, Kamaraki. It doesn't suit you at all. No, 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 no. I mean, there's no way I could be lying. Even Miss Cruce said I didn't have the wind thing blowing around me. It's she would have right, seen that, Subaru. so... I can always tell when you're lying, with or without the power to see the telltale wind. <laughs> I also know every time that you can't tell me why you're lying. So there's no need for you to try to convince me to believe whatever excuse you're coming up with, or wrap hmm. everything you're saying in lies, or try to take the blame upon Dude, yourself. Dude, she's like that. she knows you inside and out at this point. She, she's it's in love with you. It's not necessary, <laughs> because I have absolute faith in you, Subaru. <laughs> Gosh. Man, looking up at this huge tree really gets you fired up, doesn't it, Rem? You should say thanks instead of I'm sorry in these situations. Hmm. Well, in that case, you're welcome. Besides, if I look back on all that's happened love, between us, I'm far Ruff. more grateful to you, Subaru. Gosh, I love Ruff. So we're even. <laughs> she came such a long way from killing, from killing Subaru to like loving him. My wife was a woman who loved to make the time to look at flowers. She never wished she had to carry a sword, but the sword <laughs> she wielded loved her more than anyone. Hmm. With no choice but to live for that weapon, my wife gave in to her destiny and accepted her fate. I tried to take that life away, but the sword wouldn't allow her to do it. The sword wouldn't allow Mr. her to do Subaru, it? Mr. Subaru, I thank you again. In the battle before us, I needn't look any further than my own sword for answers. And perhaps I will finally be able to visit my wife's grave. At last I can stand before her once again. I think also this is going to be really good because I feel like a lot of people are going to be indebted to Subaru Let's for this. Let's do everything we can and work together to beat so the hell out of he, that damn whale. I really hope he I can get some help after I've this. Got. To save everybody from these witch cultists. <clears throat> Soldiers, be ready! I mean, I'm it... looking, but I don't see it. Yo. There it 
this. Oh damn, alright, all right. it'll blow already. Soldiers, follow those two fools into battle! <laughs> Let's go. Let's do it. Oh man, no! <laughs> alright, okay, so... We're, we're, we're getting into it now. I guess next episode is going to be like the actual battle. Even though this episode was titled Battle Against the White Whale. I guess next episode is going to be the actual battle against the White Whale. <laughs> I like where this is going to with Subaru. See, this, see, I feel like this is actually a breath of fresh air. Because the, the, is it just me or the, the last couple of episodes with Subaru has just been so hard to watch, guys. <laughs> it's been so dark, depressing, and then Subaru just... Ugh, like just watching Subaru just gave me so much anxiety, but now I feel like this episode kind of like it's a breath of fresh air. Like it, it, it like it lifted something off my shoulders. Like I feel so relieved. Like kind of like how Subaru felt relieved when um after when um Cruce accepted his um proposal, he he's like he fell back in terror and he was like relieved. <laughs> That's what I'm feeling right now. I'm like, oh yes, finally. Guys, this is it, man. Like Subaru, he he is on the right track. I feel like he can we can do it. Like this is it. Cause he, he's learned now. He's learned from his past mistakes. This stuff not to do. Like he's he's got it now. So I'm guessing once they kill this white whale, I do feel like I, I now I am wondering where he goes from there. But once they kill this white whale, he still has the wish cultist attack on on, on um the Roswell Manor and that village to worry about. So I'm trying to see what, what we do from there. Um, I, unless he tries to, you know, make another negotiation. Like, hey, guys, um, by the way, there's something else I need your help with. You know what I mean? Or I don't know. It seems like a lot of people are going to be indebted to him, though. Like the the, uh, the dude, um, I, I forget his name. The, the old dude, the one who's um in Australia. Um, Crochet's bodyguard, he seems to be re really indebted to Subaru because he's like, this thing killed my wife. So the fact that you know where it's going to be and we're going to plan around it, he's like, dude, like, I don't know how to thank you. So I feel like, I feel like this is good. This is really good. So hopefully next episode won't yank that rug from underneath our feet, you know, like we're gonna be like, all right, let's do it, that and it's gonna be just dark depressing stuff again. <laughs> I think we've had enough of that for like you know, four more episodes. Like at least give, give me two, three more episodes of stuff going to Bruce way and then <laughs> give me dark, more dark depressing shit if you if you if you have to. <laughs> Oh man. See that's um one thing that I'm still curious about. Like I, I mentioned earlier in the video, like I thought anything or well anyone that the um that the will killed people forgot. You know, like 'cause like that um like the um when Subaru was getting a ride to um back to um Roswell's mansion. And um, that guy that was riding um alongside him got got bodied, and no one remembered him. Rem got bodied, no one remembered her. Like her own sister didn't even remember her. Ron didn't even remember her. Amelia didn't even remember her. So I'm like, I'm wondering about that. If that guy's wife was killed by the White Will, why does he remember her? And, I, and actually, I'm surprised. Why isn't Subaru even questioning this? So, so that's I'm trying to figure that out. Like, if like devour like like, like and kill like I'm I'm wondering if the will eats you and kills you. Is that different? I guess is that what the will's been doing? Is that what the will did to Rome? It didn't just kill her; it ate her. That's why no one remembers her. Or I don't know. Maybe there's something different. 
and I guess guys, if this is, if this gets explained, I guess don't don't tell me, but I feel like I don't. Know, I feel like that's it's like a an oversight to be honest, unless or unless it's something that I'm overlooking that I just something that was already explained. And I just don't remember or something. So I guess yeah, let me know in the comments if that's the case, guys. All right. But yeah, um, you know what, guys? Uh, that will end the video. If y'all like what you saw, please give me a thumbs up. It does help me a tremendous amount. And if you have not already, why not subscribe? I post Wednesdays, Thursdays, Fridays. If you guys have any comments about this episode or about the series as a whole that are non spoilery post them below. I love reading your guys' comments. Also, if you have any suggestions on which team react to next, post those as well. And if it's something I have not seen, I'll take a look at them. So until next video, guys, I'm seeing nothing but mad love. They are. Do oh.